go ahead and jump into this. No reason to make it long. There's just a few key points that I want to delve into. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to wrap it up. But uh, for certainly, Lord willing, I want to touch the key points. I'm trying to get through this. So we'll see how it goes. Lord willing, or Adewan Rantazar. Okay, let's get it. <clears throat> Shalom. Barak Ta Yahweh. Barak Ta Yahweh Shai. Barak Ta Yahweh. Barak Ta Yahweh Shai. Call Laimla Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakon Kadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad. Double honor and respect to the beloved apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Coming back at you from another lesson, getting the facts straight. <laughs> getting the facts straight. So this lesson is very crucial in understanding the big picture. When you look at the major federal directives, like the FBI mandates on black fundamental extremist groups. This term black, 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 we're getting hired agents and bots popping up on a comment board. There's one incident on the beloved brother Yaka Rob's channel. Okay, I watch videos all day, every day. Watch videos. So the beloved brother Shalom beloved, Yaka Rob. So this individual comes on there talking about the 12 tribes are all black and from Africa. That is not in harmony with the scriptures. So when you look at the big picture, these people's job are to, is to try to channel the truth into a targeted FBI directive. You with me? So block and delete, block and delete. Clearly the script, somebody post James one and one, please. And it's in Isaiah chapter 11. We look like all nations. So this truth is causing a sense of urgency and terror, pure terror. Same reason the Francis Bacon rebellion started. You had poor so-called Native Americans aligning themselves with so-called poor whites. If they're so-called white, but they're under the curses, many of them are Israelites, like a large portion of the Irish. So what they're doing is they're trying to channel this truth into a FBI-targeted directive. And it's something I was getting ready to say, but the spirit bright bridled my tongue as I was getting ready to say something as it relates to these three-letter agencies. So, what, so, so getting back to that story, so the brother Yakarab goes to this woman's channel. She's got white man Jesus on her channel. But yet you're making a comment, all the 12 tribes are black. You've been exposed, okay? Shut up. Shut up. It's what you can do is shut up. Oh, here. So we're, what they're trying to do is create lucrative targets for the corrupt leadership that we're under. <clears throat> we got to be smarter than that, which, which means operating in the spirit. You got many so-called white people that look white, but they're Israelites. Their fathers go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So-called Chinese so-called Japanese, so-called Filipino. <laughs> Where's that at? James 1 and 1. 
let's get um Deuteronomy as well. Deuteronomy 28. And so these lessons are a threat to the mainstream and these made up narratives by those that wish to demonize the truth. By the way, somebody coming up there saying, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Ignore me and just keep reading the Bible. We gotta understand the time we're in. Somebody coming up talking about what you gonna do? We're gonna keep prophesying. That's what we're gonna do, nigga. There's the door. So they're trying to pick and prod and poke to try to create an incident so that they can so that it can fit the demonized narrative. This thing is bigger than what we can imagine. It's reached the gates of the nobles, the international elite. <laughs> Where's that at? James 1 and 1. We'll go ahead and get it here. Let's read this first, Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28 and 25. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Deuteronomy 28 and 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. So we got Israelites that look like Caucasian, that look Chinese, that look Japanese, that look like native Hamites. We got Israelites that might have a bone plate going through their damn mouth or bone in their nose, but they're going to repent from that piercings and come back to this light. So we can't go off what somebody looks like. Get rid of the bone in your nose, pull the plate out of your, out of your, your lips and, and get right. Come to the light. So this is not about what we look like or what we wear. You got Israelites that might be dressing with pink hair and we got to go back to Paul's time. He saw Israelites with long hair, dyeing their hair red, pink, purple, wearing togas, looking like the Greeks. But does that mean they're not Israelites? Absolutely not. See? <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's go to James 1. So we're going to be scattered into all the kingdoms of the earth. So we look like all nations. So what, what do we, what's the key point here? We are living out Acts chapter 2. Jews scattered throughout every nation under heaven. So that's why we keep getting Numb nuts coming on the comment board, black, 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 black. And also that reprobate, go black to Africa. Go black to Africa. Hey, some of these people have been put up. I'm going to just tell you straight up. And if you get your baby nuts crushed, well, well, then just pray about it, okay? Maybe we need to fast and pray. But there's a reason they're trying to take the truth and twist it, contort it, and manipulate it into a targeted FBI directive. We got to look at this thing from the big picture. Get out of the weeds sometimes and learn how to look above the horizon. Many of these people are distractors, okay? Little gnats and flies, just bzzz, get, your, get away from here and keep focusing on the big picture. <clears throat> Brother, awaken to truth. James, it's okay to ignore a reprobate, by the way. We don't have to stop every time and, what are you talking about? That's wrong. We're not, you know, just ignore them. If they're not getting it, ignore them. Sometimes they got to be called out. But what I usually do is ignore them, act like they're not even there. They're a waste of time. James 1 and 1, where is that at? Brother, awaken to truth. James, a servant of God and of the Lord, Yahabashai, Hamashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. See? So we're, we're speaking the other languages of the other nations. We're looking like the other nations. But really, the Lord did this as a two-edged sword. Is that not his word? A two-edged sword? So not only did it punish us to be scattered into all nations, 
Or what else did it do? Protected us. If somebody can get that, I think it's Isaiah 16. Moab would be a covert unto his people. So many Israelites are hidden underneath the protective umbrella or the hedge of the Moabite nation. But we're blended in. Okay? One of the key elements to survival is to what? To adapt. To speak the language. To blend in. So we're, we're eating their food, speaking their language, and we're dressing like them. With the big old round hat on. Okay? You got these chocolate-covered Moabite-looking people over there in China. But they're Israelites. Many of them are. Just like Japan. The Middle East, so-called which we know is Western Asia. <clears throat> Middle East is made up, so is Europe. Europe is made up, by the way. It's a made up continent. The Edomites came out of the caves. So they had to carve out Northwestern Asia and call that Europe. <clears throat> Brother Gabar, Ayash, yep. Yeah. Isaiah 16 and four. Let mine outcasts dwell with thee, Moab, be thou a covert to them from the face of the spoiler, Edom. For the extortioner is at an end. The spoiler ceaseth. The oppressors are consumed out of the land. So they are consumed with the word of the Lord. This is a fire that's breaking his spirit. They're not built like the Israelite man to be called nothing. Nigger, eight, coon, three-fifths of a man, second-class second class citizen, kicked out of my house by our woman, although we paid a mortgage there. Jail, in prison, lose our job, rebound back, stronger, wiser, and more effective than what we were before you falsely accused us and had us thrown in prison. Now we done lost our damn job, but guess what? The spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai revives his faithful and those that fear him. Our own women hate us. Our kids hate us. What do you think if you're a woman and you're telling your children your father is nothing? What you have just done, you have mentally weakened your child. Did not your child come from their father? So there's a part of them that feels empty. So I came out of my father that my mother said was nothing. That makes you a reprobate wearing a wig, okay? Bug out of your damn mind. So you've just mentally sodomized your child. If dad is nothing and I came out of my dad, then there's a part of me that's inept, inadequate, insufficient. You see? So that's self-hatred. Eve, if you don't fix that, the Lord is going to kill you. I'm just telling you, which is really an extension of love. Nobody's ever showed you love by telling you the truth. And you simps, you make life harder on the rest of us. No matter what Eve do, you just tell her, well, you're fine, big mama. You're fine, mama. I'll drink your bath water. The Lord has got to eliminate a lot of reprobates with dry lips, okay? As the beloved Elder Menachtazak called them, Mouth breathers, mouth breathers. They're like little miniature leviathans, bugs out of their damn mind. Here it is, Eve bouncing balloons on the, in the damn camera, and you're praising her. Get it, girl, I'll drink your bath water and all that. You simps make life harder on the rest of us. <clears throat> oh, here. Yeah, so that self-hatred has been ingrained through the mainstream trickled down through Eve. Many Jakes are bugged out too. They love their slave mask. They'll pull out a gun on you if you step on their $300 pair of Nike Air Jordans. But when their slave master come around, they start braiding a nigga's hair and licking the ice cream cone and start corn braiding. This is why the Lord's got to clean up the nation of Israel. There's a lot of filthy scum that is joined unto this truth. But it's really not for them. But as soon as somebody that looked like you step on something, you're ready to go from zero to 60 and issue a death sentence 
So if you're not showing mercy, you're not going to be showing mercy. <coughs> this, this is vexing. It really is. Slave master coming around, you become a good boy, a good boy. My spirit is vexed here. It really is. And there's a lot of things that I, I really, I don't say. <coughs> Brother, awaken to truth. Deuteronomy 4 and 27. The, in the new, in the national version. Good. Deuteronomy 4 and 27 in the NIV. The Lord will scatter you among the people and only a few of you will survive among the nations to which the Lord will drive you. So the key theme here is we're under the nations. We're the hidden ones. I believe that's Lamentations 4. Thy hidden ones, the Israelites. So this is why the 12 tribes chart is a snapshot. It's a quick, <coughs> it's a snapshot to provide quick understanding. But yes, we got Israelites scattered in the far east, East Asia, okay, in Africa, of course. But what the 12 tribes chart does is provide us a brief, quick snapshot. You don't have time to do a damn three-hour dissertation out there on the streets, breaking down each tribe by scripture. That's about a three-hour lesson. And I've listened to about three or four of them. So you don't have time to do that. So <coughs> the chart having it out there on the street is a quick five-minute snapshot or less. If you're really interested, follow the lessons every day. But a lot of Israelites, they're really full of poop. They're really not sincere. This is entertainment. They just want to be entertained. That's it. <clears throat> First Corinthians 12 and 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. <clears throat> so if we were to go to China today, you would see some melanated, so-called Chinese-looking people wearing the long robe and the big old round hat that looks like a big salad bowl on their head. <clears throat> Many of them are jakes and don't know it. They're eating rat and they're eating snakes. I've been to China. I've been to Beijing. They eat rat and snakes. Dog is a cuisine over there. And, you know, you might be wanting to say, hey, hey, Jake, put that down. What are you doing? First of all, he's speaking Mandarin or Cantonese. He's not going to even know what you're talking about. So this truth is going out now and being translated in all nations around the world. So many of these Jakes are seeing this truth in their own language, or they got the little subtitles. So this is why this devil is afraid. Because the Israelites, regardless of what they look like, are waking up to this truth. So now they got agents pushing black, black, Africa, Africa, black, 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 Africa, Africa. And that repetition, it mentally sodomizes you. If you keep listening to it, if you're not grounded in the truth, next thing you know, you've been mentally sodomized. You're going to start teaching, go black to Africa. Bugged out of your damn mind. Brother uh, Gabar Ayash, let's get Matthew 24 and 14. Matthew 24 and 14. This is where we are today. So we are reliving Acts chapter 2. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So Eve, if I was you, I would be trying to clean unto a man of the Lord, the sons of Jacob. This cave man is getting brought down if you're not paying attention. So a trigger that we're transitioning into a new age or eon is this truth being preached throughout all the world. And the Israelites waking up that are scattered into all nations. So if you're still cleaving unto this devil, if I were you, I would be trying to figure out how to get the hell away from this, this devil. I'm just telling you. <laughs> you don't have to listen. 
a lot of Israelites got to get their teeth knocked out. And then while they spitting out teeth and blood, that's the truth. I believe you was right. I believe, I believe. Well, you should have listened in the first place. We tried to tell you how to love. But once you get knocked out and then revive from your state of unconsciousness, then all of a sudden you want to go, I believe. I mean, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. Most Jakes have been knocked out a couple of times before they finally woke up. <clears throat> I'd rather learn the easy way. Brother Gabar Adama, Psalms 19 and 2, beautiful. Day unto day, utter of speech. By the way, <clears throat> this is a diligent endeavor, diligent endeavor. There is no week of two weeks off three weeks. <laughs> so this, this is a sense of urgency. And I know Elder Benatazak says this a lot. This truth is time sensitive. This is a time sensitive doctrine. Okay, we're teaching so we can get out of here. These missiles are getting ready to come over here and destroy the daughter of Babylon. So that's why there's a high sense of urgency. Notice lessons are going out day and night. Can't keep up. <clears throat> Psalms 19 and 2. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. These lessons are being translated into Mandarin, Cantonese, Arabic, Russian, German, Native African languages, across YouTube, which is doing the heavy lifting. But there's many people that the Lord put a spirit on overseas to translate the videos, remake them and republish or repost them, or the subscripts, the subtitles. They're probably laughing in China, caveman. <laughs> caveman, yep, that's right. So you're waking up to who you are if you are Israelite. <clears throat> Psalms 19 and 3. There is no speech nor knowledge where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out throughout all the earth. Their line is gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In them have he set a tabernacle for the sun. So the light of this glorious gospel is dawning or being planted into the heart and minds of the Lord's elect. <clears throat> So there's a little sanctuary being stood up. This is the lighthouse of the world that the other nations are being drawn to. We can read about that in Isaiah 60. You see, in the land of gross darkness, that starts here in the daughter of Babylon. But ultimately, the entire world lies in gross darkness. See, the kings are being drawn to this light. The Gentiles are being drawn to this light. The Israelites that are scattered into these various kingdoms and nations. <coughs> yep, Brother David. Yeah, this is nice too. Job 39 and 9. Somebody get that too in um, Psalms 22 about that unicorn. I think it's in Psalms 22, Job 39 and 9, will the unicorn be willing to serve thee or abide by the crib? That unicorn, the satellite communication network. When you look at a satellite dish, it looks like a the head of a unicorn. So the outer firmament is serving the Lord. Everything was made for his sake. Somebody post that in Revelation 4. I believe it's the last scripture. Revelation 4. <laughs> so this unicorn, a satellite communication dish, the, the, the network, the firmament, <clears throat> Job 39 and 9. Will the unicorn be willing to serve thee or abide by thy crib? Beautiful. <clears throat> so the children of Israel is being fed or receiving the milk and the nourishment by the doctrine, revitalized, brought back to life. This is a beautiful time we're living in. 
So the devil has different people set up to push that black shit. Ignore them. Block and delete. Block and delete. It's a waste of time. Total waste of time. They're not following the scriptures. They're following their own heart, their own mindset or belly. <clears throat> Brother Gabar and the, Brother Gabar Ayash, Psalms 22 and 21. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorn. Woo! So the elect is broadcasting, crying aloud, sparing none. Lifting up their voice like a trumpet, prophesying the downfall and the destruction of this wicked, decrepit kingdom of debauchery, the daughter of Babylon, America. So the elite are moving with urgency. This truth is time sensitive, as in the words of the beloved Elder Monatazar. It's time to get it while the getting is good. I've ever been to a backyard barbecue and uh, they tell you they got limited ribs and limited hamburgers. You're not sitting around just throwing rocks into the pond. You know, you're dropping keys and cell phone and wallet trying to get up to the dam to the line. Hey, look, thou prepares a table in the presence of my enemies. It's time to get up and make our way to the buffet line. Okay? <laughs> We'll get our cell phone and wallet and keys later. Okay? Let's get to the table that's being prepared in the presence of our enemies. This doctrine is a buffet of different ingredients of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Nurturement or nourishment, excuse me. Let's get right to the end it. <clears throat> My brother said, laugh out loud, laughing my ass. Yeah, yeah, it's time to get up and go. Let's go. I'll get my wallet later. You know, ain't nothing in it anyway. So I'm trying to get to, the, to get fed. Who am I? Who is the devil that the Bible speaks of? Okay. <clears throat> Why are we in this condition? Why are they targeting this doctrine? We're unarmed. All we're armed with is the Bible. <clears throat> So why is this a global threat? Why is it captured the interest of the three-letter agencies, the feds? Why? Why are our lessons being taken down and shadow banned? Why do they keep calling us black? How I many saw that scene in the movie uh, Malcolm X where he was in prison? Black is sinister, bad, wicked, conniving. You see, represents death. So we're waking up to the light and acknowledging that we are the sons of the living power. So we are exhibiting light. So now it's a threat. It's a problem when the entire world has been told that the Edomites are the sons of God. They, <laughs> they are the children of light. Illuminati means illuminated ones. You see, the Illuminati, the Illuminati, the Illuminated Ones, or Enlightened Ones. So everything is upside down, when in reality, they are Luciferians. They are the sons of the devil, Edomites. So even our women are, are trying to keep up with this train turning around. It takes time for this train to turn around, but it's turning. So a lot of you are going to be caught with your pants down, trying to hold on to this wicked queendom. Yep, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Moab, the Chinese did not cover the faces in Renaissance art. The so-called Japanese didn't cover the faces of the Israelites the so-called dark age art during the Renaissance period. The so-called white man did these things. He's committed these crimes. He is the wicked identified in the scriptures. So now the entire doctrine of the Bible is hate. 
Let's just throw out the entire Bible itself. No, we don't need to throw out the Bible or throw the baby out with the bath water. Okay, empty the dirty water and preserve the baby. The children of Israel, elect that are being brought out of this low condition, out of filth. But the devil want to throw out the baby with the damn bath, bath water. <clears throat> Moses or Mo Marsha means drawn out. So the elect is being drawn out of the waters of Babylon. It's doctrines, it's teachings, and being reborn or rebirthed through the word, the baptism of the word, the belly of living waters. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and close out here. Let's get one more. So whenever you understand the doctrine, you'll see that there is a counter narrative. We're all black and in Africa. How are we prophesying in the daughter of Babylon, America, if we're all jet black in, the, in, in Africa? You must be retarded to believe that, or you've been paid off. It doesn't make sense, and it doesn't fit the narrative, or it's not in harmony with the scriptures. <laughs> Where's that at? <clears throat> okay. Let's get one more. Yeah, let's go ahead and close out here. Jeremiah 50. So just like the prophets are moving with urgency and doing lessons every day, guess what the wicked is doing? Remember, the most high balances left and right. Good versus evil. So whenever you see the right hand beginning to move and, and perk up, the wicked global elite are doing the same thing, building underground doomsday bunkers, pushing a 185,000 internet task force to take down messages, delete videos, delete photos of the Dark Age prophets and the Messiah, Yahawashai. The UK promote Renaissance art. So the left hand starts popping up. And then the prophets start teaching more, pushing harder, crying out louder. So it's a balancing act. The chess piece is moving and battling each other. Light versus dark. <clears throat> Brother, Hebrews 4 and 12, Jeremiah 50 and 35. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, saith the Lord and upon the inhabitants of Babylon, and upon her princes, and upon her wise men. So if you got a sword at your neck, you're going to be scratching, biting, fighting, because your life literally depends on it. So the wicked elite, they know a sword is coming towards them, dangling in their face. They see the sword of the Lord, his men, the tabernacle of David, that subdued all nations in the ancient world. So the wicked global elite, they recognize the threat. They understand it to a great degree, a greater degree. You don't spend a hundred billion dollars to stand up a multinational global internet task force without understanding the threat and what's at stake, what's at hand. You think these people are stupid? You don't build a hundred million dollar underground mansion or underground cave <coughs> like Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, whatever his damn name is, without understanding that the stakes are high. If you don't understand the doctrine, follow the money. You got to be an idiot at this time to not understand this doctrine. Reprobate. But it's only for the elect. <clears throat> so a sword is upon them, which starts with the word. Let's go ahead and end it there. Where is that? That great fear fell upon them. I think it's Revelation 11. Let's end it on that one. Yeah, they're shutting down observatories. So they understand. <clears throat> they're, they're watching the uh, chariots of the Lord. Large cluster formations of the chariots of fire. So they know what time it is. They're scared. 
not a Negro with dry lips that need chapstick, he'll come up to you and say he wants to have a debate. If you want to waste your time, go right on ahead. What are we debating? Why are we investing billions of dollars into hiding underground, standing up UFO watchtowers and task force, internet global multinational task force, a multinational space station, but yet you want to have a debate. I'm not wasting a breath of energy on the Negro. It's a waste of time. Hell, this man is building a damn interna uh, international space station to fight the Lord and Savior that's coming to crack those skies. But you want to have a debate. I almost, I almost said something, but the Spirit said, don't say it. <clears throat> Revelation 11, where is it that about great fear fell upon these cave beasts? <clears throat> where is that at? <coughs> Excuse me. So in Revelation 11, I saw it. So knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Let's go here to Revelation 11 and 11. And after three days and a half, 350 years since Judah landed on the shores of the daughter of Babylon. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life, the Holy Spirit, the breath of immortality <coughs> is awakening the valley of the dry bones. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. One of the visions I had, animals were in formation. They were all dirty and coming from different walks of life, but set back in order like a, an exceeding great army. It was a formation of farm animals from around the world, marching, ready for war through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. What am I talking about? So that somebody don't try to put words in my mouth. Ezekiel chapter 37. That's what I'm talking about. So those bones are the whole house of Israel. <coughs> See? Let's go to Revelation 11, verse 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them. The other nations around the world are going to witness the destruction of the daughter of Babylon and see the elect go up into a great fathership. And the elect is going to be gathered out of every nation under heaven. That's Acts 2 and 5, which starts where we're living in that time. Again, which is going to lead to salvation of the Israelites waking up out of every nation. So we're close to a great sword that we read about that is upon the Chaldeans, a nuclear warhead. <laughs> See, Revelation 11 and 13. And the same hour was there a great earthquake and the 10th part of the city fell and in the earthquake were slain of men 7,000 and the remnant were affrighted. So the elect is going to be delivered, and there's going to be a perfect number of sacrifice. The Most High is a perfectionist. So that number seven represents completion. Ten is perfection, ten, where we get the term perfect ten. Seven, completion. So there is a complete number of blood that the Most High requires and payment because of the debauchery, witchcraft, the mistress of harlots, deaths, murders, blood sacrifice, abortions, the ABC Skittles community, woman over a man, you name it. There's blood that must be paid back. So whenever we understand the doctrine, we can see 
what the enemy is doing on the left hand. Go black to Africa or all black. Okay, it's absolutely ridiculous. My mother looked like a so-called white woman. <clears throat> okay, looks like one, but she's not. She's very light skinned. But again, this is not about color. It's about fathers. Now my father is, now my father really is really dark, dark, dark skin. I'm not going to say black, but my father is very dark skin. Okay. So I came out chocolate mocha. All right. But it don't matter what we look like. Anyway, we got to understand what the devil is doing. And these people that are being hired or paid off. I'm starting to think that one group has been paid off. They're charging Israelites to learn how to say their name in Hebrew and how to get prayers in Hebrew. These devils might be paid off. Judgment starts with the house of black Afro-Americans that's not born again. Judgment must start with you black-ass Afro-American Negroes that are not born again. Okay? I'm just telling you. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying our praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Our praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakadash. Double honor and respect to the beloved apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, honor, and respect to the beloved brothers of the hopeful elect helping to edify the body and feed the precious lambs of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai daily. And to the beloved ladies, sisters of the hopeful elect of the house of David, listening and learning in meekness and humility, as the scriptures have said to do so. To you we say, Barakatham, bless you all. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, in the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Kwam Yeshua, rise Israel, rise. Kwam Yeshua, in the Bad Babal, destruction to the pedo kingdom, the daughter of Babylon, the mistress of witchcraft, the mother of harlots. We got next, Lord willing. Shalom. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shalom. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat>